from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Renee Russell, uh, she lives in Aldi, Virginia, and she's here to tell us all about her new book, The Dork, Dork Diaries, Diaries 4. Four. Are you guys they excited about They wrote a fourth that? book about us. I yes. don't know how they keep doing this. Now, please help us welcome Rachel Renee Russell. Hello, everyone. My name is Rachel Renee Russell, and I'm happy to be here. Woo! Uh, I'd like to start by introducing my two daughters, and I call them um, official dork number one and official dork number two. Official dork number one is Erin, and she's my older daughter, and she is now an assistant writer for Dork Diaries. That's good. Nice to meet you. Now, originally, Erin was working for a mortgage company um, about maybe 18 months ago, and we were visiting, and I kind of talked her into quitting her job and working for Dork Diaries full time. So that's what she does now. So I'm happy to have Erin on our team, and she's been writing um, now for probably about a year or so. And then official dork number two is Nikki. Uh, Nikki was originally an elementary school teacher, um, and she was teaching in Loudoun County, and you were at what, second grade? First grade, First grade. Mother. Yes, she was a first grade teacher. And I was talking to her one day at dinner, and I was able to convince her to quit her job and work for Dork Diaries. <laughs> so Nikki's been on the Dork Diary team for probably about two and a half years. So I have the coolest job on the planet because I get to work with dork number one and dork number two. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm just going to talk about um, the newest book for a little bit. And then um, Aaron and I are going to take questions. And while we're doing that, guess what Nikki's going to be doing? Do you know? Yes. Nikki's going to be drawing, and what she's going to do while we talk, okay, she's going to... Can I tell them this part, Mom, please? Sure. Yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. While you pay attention to my lovely mom and my lovely older sister, I am going to randomly dorkify one of you in the audience, and you will be able to take your dorkified picture home. <laughs> so, let's begin. Are you all set? Okay. Um, the new book that's going to be coming out, and I believe it's October 2nd, um, is called Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not So Smart... Miss Know It All. all. <laughs> exactly. Um, and it's going to be coming out October 2nd. And basically what it's about is that um, Mackenzie, the evil mean girl, um, has started a gossip column in the school newspaper and Nikki Maxwell has to join the school newspaper in order to stop McKenzie from spreading nasty rumors about her, her friends, and Brandon. So it's, it's a lot of fun and it's um, got a lot of excitement and it starts out um, basically on January 1st and they're having a sleepover. Um, Zoe, Chloe, and McKenzie are having a big sleepover. Um, since they're all best friends, and then they sneak out of the house and they go and pay a visit to someone. I won't say who, but it's the middle of the night and they have, guess what, with them. Yes? No, they don't have Brandon. Yes? Not Brianna. They have toilet paper. Oh, oh, not, not good. So anyway, I won't tell you anymore. That's just a little bit of bitty teaser. So what I'm going to do is jump right into questions because I'm tired of hearing myself talk at these things. So um, is there a way we can ha have questions from the audience? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. OK, um, why don't we make a line um, right up to the front? or? Uh, 
Okay, yeah, we have a person here that's going to help us. And then if you have a question, raise your hand. And then what's your name, dear? What's your name? Belinda? Blina. Blina? <laughs> okay. Uh, we're, she'll come to you, and then we'll take your question, and then I will answer one question, and then Erin will answer one question. So if you have a question, get your hand up, and then um, she'll make her way around. Okay. Yep, if you can stand up, please. What inspires you to write Dork Diaries? Okay, what inspired me to write Dork Diaries? Um, Aaron and Nikki um, basically were very dorky little girls growing up. Um, and, you, I mean, they're so beautiful. Now, I'm biased because I'm their mom, I know. But they're beautiful, gorgeous girls. But when they were, like, in sixth grade and seventh grade, for some reason, other kids thought they were dorky, and they kind of teased them a lot. So, um, and, and it was kind of difficult for them. They were, you know, sometimes kind of sad, and they wondered why they didn't fit in. And then when they went to high school, things kind of got even worse. So the, what inspired me to write this was that I had two dorks living in my house. And it was a lot of fun, too. And it was, you know, a lot of, a lot of the things they went through um, were, gave us a lot of laughs. But then there was a lot of, you know, kind of trauma and drama and tears sometimes, too. So after living with them um, through middle school and high school, that's when I thought, I bet if I write this in a book, it will probably sell really well because other girls will, could relate to um, Aaron and Nikki's experiences. <coughs> okay. Um, what was your favorite Dork Diaries? Which was my favorite Dork Diaries? I'm going to give that to Aaron. My favorite Dork Diaries, let's see. All of them are really great. Um, Thank you. I would say my favorite would be How to Dork Your Diaries because that's when I um, started working with the team and coming up with some crazy characters like the, the football coach. So, um, yeah, that would be my favorite. Yeah, and the How to Dork Your Diaries book is the dark green book that's 3.5. Okay, and I'll let you pick somebody else. How many more books do you plan on writing? Um, our book number five, is it five? I have to, because we write so many of them and they kind of all mush in together after a while. But book number five um, tells from a not so... Smart Miss Know-It-All. Smart Miss Know-It-All comes out October 2nd. And that's book number five. Book number six comes out in June. And I think there's going to be a book seven and eight, too, because we've been talking to Simon & Schuster, our publisher. Woohoo! Yay, Simon & Schuster. And, and they're kind of talking to us about a book seven and eight. So at least there's going to be a six, a seven, and an eight. So that's like three more. OK, and next question. What? How do you make up the characters? I'll, we make up the characters. Some of them are based on people we know or like when Nikki and I were your age, we had crazy teachers, funny friends, so we go off of that. Or just think of the funniest scenario or character that you can imagine. Okay, and next question. Yep, where is the microphone? Okay. Um, what's your favorite performance? The okay, I'm not really sure yet, or the Snoopy Happy Dance? Oh, um, probably the Snoopy Happy Dance, because I have a Snoopy Happy Dance. You want to see it? Okay, here's my Snoopy Happy Dance. So that's my Snoopy. I can't jump as high as Nikki Maxwell does, but. <laughs> Okay, and next question. Who's the illustrator of Dork Diaries? Okay. That would be my sister, Nikki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Nikki is the illustrator, and Aaron is an assistant writer. And next question. Um. <laughs> Um. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can come back to you, dear. <laughs> okay, yes? Who, 
Who made the books? The title of the books. Um, I made up the title of the book, and the very first book was called Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Fabulous Life. And the reason I came up with that title was because Aaron and Nikki would always say, I want to have a fabulous life, but my life is not so fabulous. So they would complain about that sometimes. So that kind of stuck in my head a little bit. So when I was trying to think of a title, I thought, about them whining about their not so fabulous life. So that's where we came up with that. And when you have the inspiration, the, the idea, idea. Was your question, how did we get inspiration? Yeah. Um, well, based on our experiences, um, there have been a lot of things that Nikki and I have gone through, kids teasing us, um, just going, through our awkward years as teenagers, as high schoolers, all of those crazy stories, the things that I wrote in my own diary ended up being in Dork Diaries. Yeah, so it's based on real life, a lot, a lot of it is. Some of the stuff we make up because it's funny, but a lot of it is based on experiences that Nikki and Aaron had growing up, yes. When did you write your first Dork Diaries book? Um, my first Dork Diaries book was written, I started writing it in like May of 2008, and it came out um, in June of 2009. So I started writing it probably about 10 or 11 months before it was actually published. But I wrote my very first book when I was your age, or, or the age of a lot of you here. My very first book I wrote in fifth or sixth grade, and it was a happy birthday a book about my um, two twin brothers, Donnie and Ronnie. So you're never too young to start writing books. If you're in first grade or third grade or fifth grade or middle school or high school, it's never too early to start writing. So read a lot and then try writing your own stories. And next. Is there ever going to be a Dork Diaries book? I mean, Dork Diaries movie? <laughs> we really hope so. <laughs> Yeah, we, we'd love to have a Dork Diaries movie. Absolutely love, love, love it. So hopefully that will be something that we'll see, you know, down the line. Yeah, when we get the chance, we'll definitely jump on it because we have a lot of fans who want a movie. Yes. Okay. Um, is there a bully like, a like of the bully in the book? Is there a bully in real life like there was in the book? And the answer is... Yes. <laughs> yes. There was, and there were mean girls. Erin had a mean girl that didn't make her very happy. And Nikki um, had a mean girl that didn't make her very happy. So if there is a bully in your life or a mean girl in your not life, that's something that a lot of people go through. And if that person is really giving you um, a lot of trouble or making you really unhappy, Talk to your mom and dad, or talk to your teacher, because you know mean girls and bullies are out there, but there's something we can do about them. And another thing, all of your hardships now will one day make you very famous. <laughs> and so rich, maybe keep too. Keep notes so. of everything that happens and write about it. Exactly, exactly. it worked for us. So, so that's just an idea. And next. Are your daughter the main characters? Um, well, kind of. N Nikki Maxwell is the main character. Now, she has the same name as my younger daughter, Nikki. Um, so I kind of named Nikki Maxwell after my real Nikki. But Nikki Maxwell is actually a combination of Aaron and Nikki. So it's a kind of a little mix-up there, or mashup of the two. And next. Um, what did you write about in your diary, by the way? Yeah, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I wrote about my crush. I had a Brandon in real life. And I wrote about um, some of the things that my friends and I would do, um, my McKenzie, all the mean stuff she would do. And then I would fantasize, if I were a popular girl, I would do this or that. Or I would always just have these ideas or fantasies of getting even with McKenzie sometimes. <laughs> So that's what I wrote about. Okay. Uh, how long does it take for you to write uh, the story? Okay, I would say the average, when we first started, it took like, I'd say the whole 
maybe seven or eight months. Um, however, now we can write them in, I'd say, probably about three to four months. So we've gotten a lot faster. And then with Aaron and Nikki helping me, it's even faster yet. So I would say probably about three months with Aaron and Nikki helping me. So how, how are we doing on time? Good, okay. Yes. What's your favorite character? And that's your question? My favorite character, well, I definitely relate to Nikki Maxwell. I love how quirky she is. Okay. She can make the weirdest things become cool, and all the little girls admire her, and she makes it cool to be a dork, so that's why I like her. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we are ready for Nikki to... We have one more question? Okay, we'll do one more question, and then... Um, yes, dear? Have the events in Dork Diaries ever happened in your life? Yes, a lot of what happened in Dork Diaries happened in real life, unfortunately. But really, it turned out to be a good thing because by telling the story to other, um, in, in the book, other kids like you guys are getting to read it. And not only is it letting you know that um, what happens to you happens to other kids, it also gives you inspiration to kind of be like Nikki Maxwell and just hang in there and just be yourself and love yourself because dorks, rule. So that's kind of the moral of the story. <laughs> okay, you all set, Nikki, or you need a mo bit more time? Okay, um, so can we have you guys in front and have a seat and have a seat? And I'd love to talk to all of you guys afterward. When we're done, I think we're going to sign a few more books, and I'd be happy to talk to you guys and take pictures and all that. So you'll have to catch us afterward. We'll have to figure out where we're going to be. But So, you know, we'd love to talk to you all. So right now we're going to let Nikki do her part. She's going to take over from here. You need any help at all, dear? Or? Wait, you have your microphone? Thank you, Erin. Okay, so now here's my favorite part of our Sorry, presentation. Dear. I get to point out who here has just been dorkified. Let's begin with the very first one. Oh, and sorry for all of the easel and art board trouble. What's a dork without being dorky? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You want me to fold these okay. down? So, yep, yeah, thank you, Mom. All right, so here is the first one. You want me to hold it up? Can anyone guess who this might be? I'll give you a hint. She's got a long, beautiful, brown, gorgeous ponytail hanging over her shoulder. Here, I'll help you pull this up so they can see it. Okay, can you raise your hand high for me? Who is it? Yes, it's you! Come on up and get your picture. You can ask her her name. <laughs> there you are, my friend. Dork's rule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here is my next one. And again, her hair is also hanging off of her shoulder, and it is very nice, thick, and curly. Who might this be? I'll give you a hint. She's on that side of the audience. And she's sitting on the floor. <laughs> Who could that be? Will you please wave your hand wildly for us? Yes, come on up and get your picture. Congratulations and dorks rule. You're welcome. Okay, next. She has got a pair of really awesome pink and light blue sunglasses on her foreheads. In fact, I'm going to ask her if they're Ray-Bans when she comes up here. Who could that be? Yes, it's you. Come on up. Mm 
<laughs> okay. This young lady is decked out and pretty in pink, and she's got bows in her hair. Who could that be? Yes, it's you. Come on up. Come on up. And this next one shows that I can do just about anybody, including boys. They read our books, too. Now, who could this gentleman be? There you are, my Thank dear. You. You're welcome. Dork's rule. He's got an orange and navy striped shirt on with glasses. Can you please raise your hand, sir? Yes, it's you. Please come on up and get your picture. <laughs> there you are, sir. And Dork's you. rule. You're welcome. Last, but most certainly not least, I tried to get someone a little further back in the crowd. Um, now that I have a little more room up here, it looked to me as if she had on a bun, but you know what? Because you're so tucked far back, I could have been wrong. All the same, I think you know who you are. Can you please wave your hand for me? Yes, come on up. Come on up, my dear. Oh, oh look at that gorgeous ponytail. long ponytail. Uh -huh. Maybe you can wear it in the bun next time. <laughs> Okay, come on up. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Okay. That was so much fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me choose someone in the audience to dorkify. I always enjoy that. And if I had my way, I'd dorkify each and every one of you. Please keep reading Dork Diaries, and maybe one day your dorkifying dream will come true. Okay, we're about ready to wrap up now, but before we do, everybody stand up on your feet. Okay, and we're going to lead a cheer. Okay, how many people here are dorks? If you are, raise your hand. If you're a dork. Okay, so we're, go we're going to pump our fists and we're going to say dorks rule, okay? We'll just do that about a half dozen times and that will we'll be all done, okay? One, two, three, go. Dorks rule! Dorks rule! Louder! Dorks rule! Dorks rule! Dorks rule! Dorks rule! Dorks rule! Okay. Very good. Thank you for coming. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.